Welcome to our toy fruit kitchen. Here's our first customer. She would like a strawberry cake for a birthday tea party. Can you help me find the strawberry we need to make the cake? Here's our first piece. Now, where's the second piece? Hmm. How about, oh, down here on the right. Let's see if it fits. It does! Strawberry! Let's put it back into the puzzle. It belongs right here. Oh wow! We have our strawberry. Let's go make our cake. Now I'll just slice it in two halves and I'll get my bowl and place your strawberry in the bowl. That's one, two. What else do we need? Hmm, maybe a little bit of sugar. I think that's enough. And some flour. What else? Oh, some milk. And I have a carton of eggs. How many are in there? There are six eggs. Which one shall we pick? How about this one at the back, the pink one? Ooh, it's all gooey inside. Great, that's one egg. And the last ingredient I'll use is some strawberry yogurt. Now, the next step is I'll get my mixer and mix the ingredients. Turn it on. Oh look, you can see the ingredients mixing together. Nearly done. Turn the mixer off. Let's take a look at what we have. We have our pink cake mixture. Now all I need to do is press it into the shape of a cake. Next, I'll cook it in my toy oven. Close the door. I can see it's starting to cook. Oh wow! Look at that! We made a giant strawberry squishy cake! Oh, I can't wait to show our customer! Now I'll just put it on this beautiful pink plate. Let's go take it to the counter. One strawberry squishy cake. The cake costs five coins. Let's count how many coins our customer gave us. That's one coin, two, three, four, and five. Great counting! Here's our next customer. He would like an avocado sandwich. Can you help me look for the avocado? Okay. Oh, I found the first piece. Let's go find the other half. Hmm, maybe it's over here. How about up here? Oh, I think I found it. Let's see if the two pieces fit together. They do! Avocado. Now let's put it back in the puzzle. Oh wow, we have our avocado. Let's go prepare it in the kitchen. I'll just cut it in half. Great, we have some avocado slices. Now, I'll just get out this red tray to make our sandwich on. I have two slices of bread. They have sesame seeds on top. Where's my avocado? I'll place it right here. And what's next? How about a slice of tomato? Hmm, what else? Ah, yes, an onion ring. Hmm, how about a slice of cheddar cheese? And, oh, I know, some lettuce. And don't forget the cucumber. I have some mayo. How about we put this on top? Great! And add some mustard for some extra flavor. <laughs> I think that's enough ingredients in my sub sandwich. I'll just put the top on. Oh, look how many things are inside the sandwich. Let's go serve it up to our customer at the counter. The sandwich costs three coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. That's one, two, and three. 
one sandwich coming right up. Our next customer would like some banana pancakes. Can you help me find the banana? Oh, I've already found one half. Now, where is the other half? Not here. <gasps> here it is. Let's put the pieces together. We did it. Banana. Now, all I need to do now is place it into the puzzle. Oh, <laughs> we have our banana. Let's take it to the kitchen. Now, I'll just cut a slice. Great! Now all I need to do is make the pancakes. I'll just place the pancake pan on the grill. And I think I'll just put this little dab of butter in the middle. Oh, I can hear it sizzling, can you? I have a jug of pre-prepared pancake mixture. And I'll just place it carefully on the pan. Now let's watch it cook. Oh, I can see it bubbling. All done. I'll just flip it over. It's a little tricky. Oh, we did it. Now all I need to do is serve it up on the plate. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. Now let's decorate the top with the banana slices. That's one, two, and three. Oh, and how about some chocolate chips in the middle? Just put it on my pink plate and serve it up to the customer. Let's take it to the counter. The pancakes cost six coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four coins, five, and six. Banana pancakes coming right up. Here's our next customer. He would like a tropical fruit smoothie. Can you help me find the star fruit? I found the first half. Now where's the second half? Not here. How about over here on the left? Oh, I think I see it. Do you? Let's see if they fit together. They do. Star fruit. Now let's put it back in the puzzle. Uh, it goes right here. I'll just take it to the kitchen and start making the smoothie. First I need to cut it in half. That's two slices. Let's put it into the blender. That's one and two. And let's look for the second tropical fruit. Durian. Here's one half. Now where's the other half? Is it over here? Hmm, maybe down here. Here it is. We found it. Let's put the two pieces together. Dorian, the king of fruit. Now where does it go in the puzzle? Right here. I'll take the durian to the kitchen and add it to the smoothie. Cut it in half. And put it into the blender. And look for one more piece of fruit. This is papaya. Can you help me find it? Here's the first half. Now where's the second half? Maybe over here. Here it is, down here. Let's put the pieces together. Do they fit? They do. Papaya. Now let's go put it in the puzzle. It goes right here. Great, we have our papaya. Now let's go to the kitchen. Now I'll just cut it in half and add it to the blender. That's one and two. Oh, I think I'll add some pineapple. That will go great in the tropical smoothie. That's one, two slices. Now I'll just add some milk. Put the lid back on the blender and turn it on. I can see it mixing, can you? Nearly done. 
great. Now where's my cup? And now I need a lid. And a straw. One tropical smoothie. The smoothie costs eight coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. What would our next customer like? A watermelon popsicle. Can you help me find the watermelon? We found one half. Now where's the other half? Oh, up here. Let's put the puzzle pieces together. Great! Watermelon. Now let's put it in the puzzle. It goes here. We have a watermelon. Now let's go make that popsicle. First I'll cut a wedge. And now I'll take it to the refrigerator. Pop it inside. Close the door and wait for it to cool down. All done. Now let's take it out. What does it look like? Oh wow! It's a watermelon popsicle. Now let's take it to the counter and serve it up to our customer. The watermelon popsicle costs four coins. Let's count the number of coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, three, four. What would our next customer like? A kiwi ice cream. Can you help me find the kiwi? It's bright green. Here it is. We found it already. Now where's the other half? Ah, over here. Let's put the pieces together. Kiwi. Now where does it go in the puzzle? Up here. That's where it belongs. Great, we have our kiwi. Now let's go to the kitchen and prepare it. I have an ice cream maker. First I need to cut the kiwi in half. Now I'll just lift this up and put my kiwi slices in here. One and two. I have an ice cream cup and push the ice cream down. I can see it coming out, can you? Oh look! This ice cream is going to be amazing! All done. Now it's missing something. Oh, how about a red cherry on top? Looks great! I can't wait to serve it to the customer. This kiwi fruit ice cream costs two coins. Our customer gave us one, two coins. What's the next customer want? An apple and apricot pie? Let's go find the apple. Here's the first half. Now where's the second half? Oh, up here, we found it. Now let's put the two pieces together. Apple, can you help me put it back into the puzzle? Great job. We have our apple. Now all we need to do is look for the apricot. Hmm, here it is. And I think the other half is over here. Let's put it together. It fits. Apricot. And it belongs right here. We have our two pieces of fruit. Now let's go make that pie. First, I'll cut the apple in half and put it into the pan. That's one, two slices. And next, I'll cut my apricot. That's another two slices. Just put it on top of the toy stove and turn it on. Wriggle it around a bit and mix it with a spatula. And I think I'll just put the lid on. 
turn it off. I wonder if it's cooked. I'll just get my blender and mix up the ingredients. Oh, look, it's all mixed up. And I'll just put it into my pie dish. It's all sticky and gooey. Great, and now all I need to do is make the pastry on top. I'll just roll it out really flat, and then get my pie cutter and cut a big circle. Great, and take away the extra dough. Now I'll just carefully put it onto the top and press it down with a fork all the way around. Hmm, I think it needs a decoration. How about I make a couple of leaves? I have a cutter. Oh, looks amazing. That's one leaf. Let's make another one. And we have another leaf. I'll just go cook it in the toy oven. Here you go. Close the door and turn it on. All done. Let's go give it to the customer. The pie costs 10 coins. Let's count the coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, three, four coins, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great counting! Wow, we made so many things today in our toy kitchen. Thanks for helping me. See you next time. On Rainbow, let's learn about different types of foods with crayon surprises. First, we'll open the red crayon. Wow, look at all the red foods. These are tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually fruit because they have seeds inside. I'll just remove the stalk and let's cut a slice. One slice of tomato. Let's cut another slice. Tomatoes go great on pizza. What else can we put tomatoes on? Hmm, how about a hamburger? Lettuce and bun. That's one juicy burger. What's next? It's a red pepper. These are strawberries. Let's go prepare them. I'll just take the green stalk off first. I'll put this one over here and let's cut a slice. What could we make with the strawberries? Ah, oh, I know. How about a smoothie? It's one and two. Now add some fresh milk. Put the lid on and turn on the smoothie maker. Almost done. Pour it in the cup. Smoothies are a great way to get all your fruits and vegetables. I'll just place the lid on the top so the smoothie doesn't come out. Now all we need is a straw and we're all done. One smoothie. What's next? Ah, watermelon. Watermelon is a lovely summer fruit. Let's cut a slice. Two slices of watermelon. What else is there? Oh, a red apple. Let's cut a slice. First, I'll take the green stalk off. Apples are a great source of fiber, which is good for you. This is a chili, and chilies can be very hot. They come in all different colors. Some are green and some are red. Many dishes around the world use chilies to add flavor. What's our next crayon? It's the orange crayon. What shall we choose? How about this one? It's an orange. Orange is a fruit. 
I'll take the stalk off. Let's cut the orange in half. Oranges are a great source of vitamin C. Look inside, it's got lots of different segments. This is a fish, and fish is a source of protein. Two slices of fish. What are these vegetables? They're carrots. Let's go prepare them. First, I'll grate this carrot with a grater. This takes the skin off the outside. All done. Next, I'll cut some slices of carrot. One, two. Carrots are a great source of vitamin A, which is good for your eyesight. This is an orange pepper, and it's related to the chili. What's next? It's a pumpkin. Did you know that a pumpkin is actually a fruit? See, it has seeds inside. Now let's open the yellow crayon. What shall we pick first? How about this? It's a banana. First I'll peel the yellow skin on the outside. And the inside of the banana is pale yellow. Let's cut a slice. It's one and two. Banana slice. Bananas go great on pancakes. That's one, two, and three slices of banana. Oh, and some blueberries. What type of vegetable is this? It's corn. Sometimes it's called maize. Corn actually comes in different colors and even multicolored red, yellow, and brown. Here's a wedge of Swiss cheese. It has holes in it. And here's a slice of Swiss cheese. Hmm, what type of fruit is this? It's a mango. And a mango is a tropical fruit. Tropical fruit grow in countries that are close to the Earth's equator, like India and Southeast Asia. This is a lemon. And lemons are very sour. Lemons are a great source of vitamin C. And they're their main ingredient in lemonade. Oh, look! We have another tropical fruit. It's pineapple. Let's cut a slice. This is a pineapple ring. And the last fruit is a yellow pepper. It is a savory fruit. I wonder what's inside the green crayon. Let's open it. Wow, there are so many green fruits and vegetables. This one's green on the outside. It's a watermelon. And watermelons are red on the inside. What's this green vegetable? Hmm, let's open it up. Oh, there's beans inside. They're broad beans. What shall we choose next? How about this? It's a pear. Pears have an unusual shape. They're like a teardrop. I'll just take the stalk off and cut a slice. Pears can be used in all different things like pies, jellies, jams, and juice. What type of vegetable is this? That's right, it's a cabbage. I'll just peel off some leaves. That's one and two. What's this? It's a cucumber. Cucumber is a fruit. Let's cut a slice. Cucumbers are 95% water. Cucumber goes great in salads and sandwiches. Can you guess what this is? It's a bunch of asparagus. Asparagus is a vegetable and is related to onions and leeks. Hmm, what's this? It's a pea pod. Open it up and there are peas inside. Peas grow on vines. This is broccoli. Broccoli is a very healthy vegetable. Let's cut it up. Each slice is called a floret. I have three florets of broccoli. 
What's this long vegetable? It's a bean. Beans are picked from vines. We have another bell pepper. This time it's green. I'll just prepare it. Pick the stalk off and cut it in half. We have two halves of green pepper. What type of fruit is this? It's a kiwi. Kiwis have lots of little seeds on the inside, and sometimes they can be a bit sour too. This is an avocado. It's a fruit. Avocados usually have a giant seed on the inside. Avocado is a main ingredient in guacamole. Our next crayon is the blue one. Let's open it up. I wonder what's inside. Oh, lots of different things. What's this? It's a blue cupcake. What else is there? We have blueberries and a blue popsicle. And last, we have a blue fish. I'll just cut some fillets. It's one and two. Two fillets of fish. Next is the purple crayon. What types of things are purple? This is a purple cabbage and a purple eggplant. First, I'll take the green stalk off and cut it in half. Did you know that eggplant is actually a fruit? What's this type of fruit? It's a mango steam. Let's cut a slice. Mango steam are a tropical fruit. This is a plum. Plums grow in colder climates. A plum is a fruit and when dried is called a prune. Oh <laughs> wow, what's this? It's bamboo. I'll cut one slice and another. We have three slices of bamboo. What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's grapes. Grapes are berries and they grow on vines. Humans have been growing grapes for thousands of years. What's this? Color purple, but people usually call it red onion. Let's cut a slice. This is an onion ring. Onion rings go great in sandwiches. Oh, I wonder what sort of things are inside the pink crayon. What's this? It's a macaron. It is a French treat. They are made from egg white, sugar, and flour. Here's a box of macarons. Wouldn't that be a nice gift for someone? What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit grow on cactus vines. That's why there is spiky fruit on the outside. This is a pink pot of strawberry yogurt. What's next? Oh, it's a giant pink prawn. Prawn is a good source of protein. And here is a prawn cutlet. What's next? It's a pink ice cream. And a pink Donut. Donut is a sometimes food. What type of fruit is this? It's a peach. A real peach is usually fluffy or fuzzy to touch on the outside. Peaches are a stone fruit because they have a large seed in the middle. This is a pink fish. Let's prepare the fish for cooking. Two slices of fish. There is only one crayon left. It's the brown one. 
Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, lots of things. This is ground beef and it goes in a taco. What's this? It's an egg. Let's go cook it in the toy kitchen. I have a fry pan. I'll just turn on the toy grill. Crack the egg. And watch it cook. You can hear it sizzle. All done. We have a fried egg. What's this? It's a mushroom. Let's go cut a slice. Two slices of mushroom. This is a bar of chocolate. And this is a loaf of bread. What else is there? Some ham. Let's go cut some slices. That's one and two. Have three slices of ham. What's next? Oh, it's a T-bone steak. This is a potato. A potato is a vegetable that grows under the ground. Next is a pancake with maple syrup and butter on top. What's this type of vegetable? It's an onion. Let's cut it in half. An onion inside has many different layers. Oh, what's this type of fruit? It's a kiwi. Its skin is brown and fuzzy on the outside and bright green on the inside. This is a chicken drumstick. Two pieces of chicken drumstick. Hmm, I have a cone. What goes with a cone? An ice cream scoop. One chocolate ice cream. Grilled chicken. And last is a couple of burger buns. Wow, there are so many things in the crayons. Today we learned about different types of fruit, vegetables, and proteins. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainy Bone.